Hello my beautiful Cancerians and welcome to your general reading. Today we're going to see what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, okay? So just take what resonates, feel free to switch the genders, switch the roles, do what you got to do and leave the rest, okay? If any of you would like to book a personal reading, to purchase anything or to make a donation, info on how to do so is in the description box below, okay? So my beautiful Cancerian, so what do you have as your overall energy? Okay, so we have death and then we have father, okay? Very um, interesting energy, okay? So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. So in this in this deck, I call this my emperor card. So yeah, so you could be dealing with like a father figure. Okay, I feel like something here is transitioning. Now, if somebody has transitioned, you know, my condolences. But I'm getting that um, you are leveling up to um, boss level, okay? I'm also getting, for some of you, you could be like estranged from your father and you're about to make up. Because, you know, in this card, he's kind of like wrapping his um his hands around like a little girl. It's kind of what it looks like to me. Now, for some of you, you could have like a maternal figure in your life or or um, a father figure in your life that um spirit is around you, okay? So this could be like a grandfather or a father that had, has passed okay they are always around you and they are always watching over you okay but you know she's kind of walking up so i feel like you're going for a transformation you see how she's kind of leaving you know her body behind okay and she's walking towards the light so i'm getting something about like the mystery schools here some of you could be um an ast astrologist or you study astronomy or the stars okay you could be very scientific okay you could be studying the hermetic laws Okay, the secrets of the universe. Okay. You could be mastering this as well. I'm guessing talking about like philosophy. Okay. But I feel like you are going towards um, you know, you're going up the ladder. I just heard Jake Jacob's ladder as well. Okay, interesting. Let's see where this is going. So I'm just getting transcending, transitioning your higher self, but you're going towards this father thick figure here, or you could be leveling up, like I said, you could be becoming a boss if somebody isn't transitioning, okay? I just feel like you're going up to the ethers. You could be having like really crazy dreams as well, so pay attention to your dreams. Who is this for? Cancer. You could be having dreams about your father, Okay, yeah, follow your path. It says, um, you have many options to choose from, but know you are going in the right direction. Yeah, she's going, she's following her path. And I feel like it's a path to success and abundance. Okay. Or like some very powerful position. I feel like you're supposed to be a leader of some kind. Okay, yeah, wow. Yeah, it says take the lead. I am, I'm on point. Okay. It says be a powerful force in your own right. Yeah. That's what I feel like. I feel like you're leveling up. I'm not really getting anything like negative or sad here, but for some of you, it could be a passing, but I'm not getting that. I feel like you have passed your test or you're passing through to the next stage. But you're or somebody, like I said, is guiding you. It's a grandfather figure in particular. The same card wanted to come out. Okay. And then we have nothing is set in stone at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So you could be wondering or procrastinating or thinking about whether or not you should go to the next move or the next level. I'm hearing strike while the iron is hot. Okay. And, you know, you're not going to be in one place forever. You're always going to be evolving and moving forward, okay? Because if you don't, then you're just, just stagnation. So I feel like you have to keep going. I'm hearing the only way is up. Okay? So take the lead. Now, for some of you, if somebody is passing or if it's not passing away, it could be like passing a business down to you. I feel like somebody's saying to you, you know what? You need to take the lead now. Maybe somebody here is retiring, and you have to take over some type of business. Somebody wants to retire. Maybe someone's looking at themselves. They're like, listen, I don't know how long I've got left on this earth. You know, I kind of want to enjoy the rest of my life. So this is for, this is this is for you. Or so your 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 father or somebody in your business in, in your family could be like passing something down. This could be inheritance as well. I just feel like you need to take the lead when it comes to something. You need to lead by example. Okay, all right, let's see where this is going. Please come find follow your path. Or people are being led to you, you know? 
could be a masculine energy that is following you as well like online okay beautiful we have the headband this is beauty elegance and luxury then we have the red head at the bottom of the deck it says feisty sexy and passionate yeah like i said i feel like you're going towards a path of luxury abundance and all things pretty and nice also you may get a lot of people starting to follow you like if you have an online presence because you're beautiful okay so if you're beautiful you know that just that helps it is what it is <laughs> okay but that's what i'm getting i'm just getting that you're going towards a life of luxury you know so be sexy be confident in what it is that you're doing if an opportunity comes you know don't let it pass you by because as it says nothing is set in stone but i feel like something is set for you okay yeah we have the shrinkage it says before and after two sides of the same coin as nothing's what it seems yeah or no it says something's not what it seems sorry don't remember what I wrote on my own card. Okay. Well, I'm not reading it properly, should I say? So, yeah, something isn't what it seems. Like I said, you're going through some type of transition. So, if you know, for the melanated queens watching this, you know how it is. If any of you do like wash day or whatever, you just wash your hair. When we wash our hair, it shrinks up. You know, and then when we blow it out or we straighten it, everyone's like, oh my goodness, you got all that hair. It's like, yes, darling. So, like I said, you could be in this stage right now, but this is what you're transitioning into. And you see how her hair's all magical. You know, definition of black girl magic right there. I'm also going, you can you can do both. You can have it both ways. I'm just getting to the, like, um, the best of both worlds here. I'm getting to something about playing a masculine and a feminine role as well. Clarified by take the lead. So you could be like single mothers. So maybe you have to be a father and a mother to your child. Okay. Or the opposite. You know, you could be a single father. Okay, we have the braid out. It says results, freedom, and transformative. Yeah, I feel like something is changing. I'm getting heavy Scorpio energy here, but I feel like it's changing for the better. Because again, with the twist, we twist it up, and then when we take it out, it just transforms our hair, and it's nice and curly, and you know. So I'm getting like a beautiful transformation. I'm getting, you're getting a lot more than you expected. So this could be like money or... You know, maybe, like I said, if you're applying for some type of position, you know, you're getting a lot more than, than what you bargained for. But I feel like it's in a good way. But I feel like it's time for you to transition. It's time for you to move on. Or it's time, it's time for you to, to level up. I just heard, welcome to the good life. Welcome to the good life indeed. Okay, beautiful energy. So let's see where this is going. Or like I said, there could be somebody, uh, like I said, a father figure, or there could be an emperor that wants to look after you. Somebody may look be see, looking at you and they want to transform your life. Okay, but I'm getting that you're getting some results. So this, there could be somebody wanting to take care of you. They just think that you're beautiful and they just, you know, let me help you out. So this could go many different ways. Okay, so please clarify. Um, but I'm getting like a feminine energy here taking on like a masculine role or a masculine position. Yeah, it could be dealing with an Aries. We have the, um, I'm hearing Gemini as well. We have the witch, which is the magician. So yeah, I feel like you're supposed to um, use your power in order to make magic happen. You're supposed to be in control here. For some of you, you are very gifted, very talented. Okay. She's using all her tools and all her gifts. She's putting it in her little cauldron there and she's making shit happen. I'm getting something about formulas as well. So I'm definitely getting somebody's into like science here. I just, I just heard forensics as well. So something could be within your DNA or you have the, the genetic code to make something happen. Okay, I'm also getting that your beauty is like a spell. Sorry guys, I think I just spit there, my apologies. I'm getting that your beauty is, is like a spell to people. So I'm getting an enchantress vibes here. But I feel like you have the talent, you have the skill, you are equipped to do something. So you need to take action. It's time. Oh, the five of swords though. But there's going to be people around you that don't want you to do something. There could be somebody that's trying to sabotage something. But I feel like you're going to have the last laugh in the end. So don't worry. Because, yeah, with the nothing is, set in, nothing is set in stone, that energy, I feel like that's somebody on the outskirt, outskirts watching you. Not wanting something to happen for you or... But somebody here has got so much talent. Okay, so please clarify the shrinkage and take the lead. 
beautiful energy could be dealing with the virgo you could have significant virgo placements we have the ten of wealth yeah i'm getting something about either family inheritance or legacy or like i said something that is rooted within your dna also this could be somebody that wants to um build with you somebody wants to marry you they want to be loyal to you. you could be in a committed relationship already i see it really blossoming here i'm getting a power couple vibe here with these two energies or i'm getting a lot of wealth you have the power to manifest and to create this this is really, really gorgeous. Or this is your ancestors. Like I said, you know, our ancestors are the trees. Our ancestors reside in the earth. So this could be a, a father figure that's out here just looking after you. But I'm getting you're going to be making so much money, man. You're going to be getting some results. So keep, keep working on your talents. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay? The spiritualist, beautiful energy. Some of you are like a spiritual guru. So this is equivalent to the Hierophant. And again, yeah, best of both worlds. Some of you could have been brought up very religious. I'm hearing like, um, I just heard like Catholic. You know, but you could have been brought up Christian, Catholic. I'm hearing Jehovah. I'm hearing Jude, um, Jewish, Buddha, Muslim, whatever. Maybe you're somebody that, you know, you don't really follow like one specific faith or you have an understanding of both. But with the spiritualist, I feel like you're somebody who's like some type of spiritual guru or I'm getting somebody's a herbalist here. But I'm just getting money, power and respect. Literally. Money. Power. Respect. Also, again, this could be like a spiritual union or a spiritual partnership. Or like I said, something was set in stone, but nothing is set in stone. I feel like something is set in stone for you. It's supposed to, okay? Whether it's a particular person, a spiritual union, like you're supposed to be with someone, or whether you're supposed to be making a lot of money. Again, I feel like you're going to be making a lot of money from some type of spiritual gift that you have. You know, Cancerians, you know, you the second deacon of... Check what um, deacon of cancer you are because the second deacon of cancer is the three of cups. Cancer's rules, celebration, celebrity. So for some of you, you know what I mean? You're supposed to be in the public's eye or you're supposed to be celebrated and supported. Yeah, look at this, the devil. There's that energy wanting to come for you. And then we have the temperance. Then the universe, all major arcanas all in a row. Something major is happening for you. And again, the best of both worlds. Like I said, you could have been through hell and back. You're transitioning. It's like you were stuck to something. Because, you know, religious, that religious mindset is very um, structured. It's very closed in. Spirituality is very freeing. So I feel like you were stuck to something because you see how the, the religious, the nun here is stuck, is on the, de the side of the devil and the angel is on the side of the angel, literally. So I feel like you're here supposed to be, you're supposed to be like an angelic spiritual guide or you're raising your vibration because the universe has put it so, okay? So this is really, really beautiful energy, okay? I feel kind of a bit of um, emotional. I don't even know what cards to pull next. Let's see what the fairies have to say. Because I'm hearing like, I really did this. This could be something about a home as well. Or like I said, this could be something about your family. Ring around the fairies, yeah. Like I said, that three of cups energy, you're supposed to be celebrated. I feel like you've got angels around you. This could be somebody that you want to reconcile with as well. We see how they're around this fire here with these three candles. I feel like you manifested. I'm hearing the power of three. I'm hearing you, me, and the divine. The holy trinity, the ascended masters. Divine feminine is at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful energy. Could be dealing with a Scorpio because I think they got divine feminine. But somebody here is truly divine. I feel like you're going to find new meaning to that word. Or that's how you view someone. I'm interested to know what the, um, what is the witch? What's the magician? 
You could be doing some type of ritual as well. Trying to bring something in. This could be something that you're teaching someone. Here's that Virgo. Somebody here has got double Virgo placements. Someone could have Virgo in their first house as well. But yeah, somebody could be trying to use some type of picture or something to bring something in. I'm getting like something like a vision board here. But yeah, you're supposed to be wealthy and abundant and self-made. And I feel like that's what's happening. And you go from the nine of pentacles to the ten. So I feel like you're going to get there all on your own, Cancerian. This is really beautiful. I feel like you should be very proud of yourself if this is you. Someone could have um, Venus in Virgo also. Or you could have Virgo in your 10th house. But I feel like you're manifesting wealth. You're manifesting a beautiful life. Being unencumbered, single, independent, beautiful. Somebody has also got a beautiful body. You could be trying to manifest that. Maybe you're trying to work on your weight or your body or your shape. I'm also getting that somebody just thinks that you are picture perfect, man. Like I said, people are going to be following you because you look good. Yeah, the strength. Irresistible, darling. Somebody here could be a Leo Virgo cusp. And again, made the lovers... I don't know what's going on with these major arcanas, darling. But this is beautiful. But we have the strength card at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's time for you to be strong. This could be a love as well that is just coming to find you, man. But yeah, you have very strong spiritual gifts. And you're here to share them. Or this is how you view somebody. It's like you've been holding back. You've been like, no, I don't want to do this. Or no, no, like, no, nah, man, it's time for you to transform. Beautiful energy. All right, let's get a card for you. We have, I trust the process of life and let go of control. Yeah, we, I keep getting control issues for all the signs. So for some of you, maybe you fear having control. Yeah, focus on your on your own peace. Yeah. So I feel, especially with that, um, the Virgo energy there, I feel like there's something that you're doing on your own or you need to focus on something on your own or you know that to be a leader, you know what I mean? The leader is, is there's only one. Do what you've got to do to protect yourself. Good God, I am on point. It says protect your energy, darling. So you could be doing protective rituals to protect yourself, to protect those who you love. Somebody also could be doing this for you. Like I said, you have a protective energy around you. Especially when you're going into this role or when you have a lot of money or a lot of wealth. It's going to be a lot of people around you. So make sure you're protecting your energy, okay? And then we have I embrace. I, I embrace. What am I saying? I am brave and embrace uncertainty with courage. Yeah, there's that strength card. You have to do something courageously. Because I feel like you're not sure about something. Again, with the nothing is set in stone. That could be you saying that to yourself. Oh, well, you know what? This down the third and I don't know. Because... Stop it. Embrace something. Whatever this is, embrace it with courage. Something was meant for you. Yeah, value, respect more than likes is underneath that card. So it's not about how many people like or whatever. It's about what the fuck you're doing and how powerful you are and you believing in yourself, Cancerian. So beautiful energy. Or like I said, you're looking at someone like this. You feel like someone is powerful, strong and divine. You want to protect this person. Okay, yeah, we have Angel Sophia, which is the um, angel of love. So this could be you love someone. Again, we saw... We saw it's almost like you're holding all this love in. We saw this with the, the lovers. And, you know, the lovers is the divine chosen ones. Or this could be self-love. And, you know, Leo rules the heart. And then we have the angel of beauty. I keep telling you something here about beauty. Somebody's really beautiful or you're very beautiful. Or a beautiful life. I'm just getting the power of beauty here. divine fine and aligned you know you know i love that saying guys <laughs> i feel like that's you right now cancer man or woman watching this it doesn't matter you can switch the roles okay 
And yeah, stop. You need to stop wasting your talents. Exactly. Like I said, somebody here is very gifted and very talented. You were given, you know, gifts are to be given. So you were given your talents for a reason. Share them. Lead. And silence is the best reply to a fool. So yeah, that's for people who are telling you that you can't make it or whatever. Don't even reply to them. Yeah, just do it. You know you want to. Exactly. Like I said, I don't know what this is. It's going to be different for different people. But it's like something that you're holding back from. You, you need to do it. I keep saying this to all the signs. I don't know why everybody's in there like in their stubborn energy. Like what's going on? But we have Leo, very significant here. Virgo, heavy. Aries, heavy. Okay. And Taurus. So can I have one more card? So we have Essence, beautiful energy. And then we have Wizard, balance, yeah. You have the power, balance, best of both worlds, something about your essence, man, something about your vibe. It's just something about you, Cancerian, or this person, or this opportunity. And then we have gratitude. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be feeling so grateful, okay? And then we have intuition. Yeah, I told you, somebody here is a powerful intuitive. Your intuition will guide you and tell you what you're going to do, and you're going to be so happy that you listen to it. Okay, so thank you so much. And also, I'm getting that your intuition is like a grandfather. That's who you're hearing in your mind. That's who's connecting with you or somebody who's past or one of your ancestors. Okay, but thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please don't hesitate to um, like, share and subscribe. Bye.